Hi, I'm Mike. I'm excited that you're here. You're here because you want to remove objects from your photo. It's important. It's fun to do. Removing distractions, whether it be light things, sharp things, rubbish, objects, something in there that's either pulling the attention away from the areas in the, in the, in the visual flow, or it could be that it's just whatever it is in there that you can't get rid of with other means. It's just not adding to the story or it's taking away from the story. That's the most important bit. As you know, creating the best version of your photo is really rewarding and satisfying. And this app makes it really easy. It's got the best tools, features, interface for the basic to the more advanced object removal. And it's a way that you can avoid those results with other apps where you have the smear, the blotchiness, even distortions in the photo. This makes it really seamless and doesn't look like it's been edited. It has the most refined tools for selections. And then when you're sourcing, sampling and copying from areas, you can go in there, you can apply and refine the areas that you're working on. It's so many cool tools in here. I can't wait to show you. Either change the size of the brush by using the settings or you pinch and zoom and the brush get changed the size as well. So I'm going to get in nice and close here. Change the brush. I can see the overlay there. Just tap on it. It's gone. The other option is to swipe with your finger. So you can swipe in and press go. And not only can you remove things, you can add hair to a bald spot. <laughs> and you can see here, we're really cleaning up this photo and making it look better. Now I'm pressing go each time, but there is manual. And the reason why manual works so well is you can go in, make your selection. Okay, and you can go eraser and you can erase and you can refine and make that a bit closer if you like and see how that goes. And then press go, boom. Great results every time. And you can see here, just like that, we've cleaned up, simplified that photo. So we're going to have a look at this one, getting nice and close. Select mesh, where there's multiple lines like this. It's going to analyze, bang, it's done it. Settings, we can refine. And then once we're ready to go, just press go. And it may need a little bit of fine tuning. The sections where the mesh was did a great job. Above the pole there where it's no longer a mesh and it's just objects, that's where we need to then go and select our objects. St. Paul's Cathedral did the research. I found the spot. Here is the photo. When I got there, I was so disappointed with this reflection, this time of day, you can't see through the glass. I want to remove that. Now that is very complicated as you can see. These people over here, when you're lining up lines, can be quite difficult. So we press down here and you can see on the left side, you got that little magnifying loop. You can see there we've got right on the line. So then if I, over here, if I tap, I can say, oh, I've just missed it. There we go. Now I've got it. Now with confidence, I can swipe down and know that I'm going to copy and remove those people there. Pinch and zoom to get in nice and close again. Slide back. Slide back means that every time I let go, it goes back to the same point, which is really handy. Okay. Now to get rid of the legs, nice and easy. Change my opacity, make it a bit stronger. Getting nice and close. Reduce the opacity so that it's not as obvious. There we go, that's looking good. Before, after, they're out of the picture. This one's gonna be a bit more challenging, <laughs> this guy walking past. Maybe we don't need to remove all of it, but enough that it removes the distraction. There we go. I think I made a new bottle of car there in the background, but that's okay. <laughs> Now I'll show you another tool here, mirroring, where now I can select from there and I can go in towards. There we go. So we're effectively painting over top using content that's already in there. This tool here, Edge Awareness, this is where you can actually get in, kind of blend around those edges a bit more so that it doesn't copy straight over. Now I've reduced the opacity so that I can just work on this gradually and as I keep swiping over it, it keeps filling it in more and more, which I really like. The tool that I want to show you here is the restore. So when we go in here and we clone, okay, and it's not quite working, hit the restore, the original, we've gone outside the edges or it's not quite working so we can go back in there again. And if you want to reapply it, reapply and you can reapply so you can go back and forth, bounce between the two. Last one I want to show you is the lines. This one's really handy. Lines. Okay, I've got a line there. Get rid of that. Bang, it's done. Add these little points in the middle here and then tap go. So there we go. How cool is that? You do not get much more complicated than that. You can see how much fun this is. Thoroughly recommend Touch Retouch. Go check it out.